Hey hi hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Trinity War. I'm Commander Balak and today we are going to get the extraction ready. So yeah without further ado let's just get to it. We are going for the roadway map so I'm guessing it's gonna be the construction site. Because uh, is there even another roadway exact map? And I was right. And Bradford is quiet. Hooray! Yay, no Bradford. That doesn't happen every day. Maybe he's sick or something. operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. New objective received. Uh, cool story, bro, but doesn't matter. Running. We have a free uh, encoder area, so I'm just going to get uh, close so we can bridge it next turn. We are going to set up at the edge of it and simply uh, withstand whatever it is that they will throw at us, you know? If, uh, since they are not in our starting areas, uh, I mean Already the encoder came. area, then we don't actually have to uh, sweat. If our operative can get close enough to yeah, one of those assault communications relays deployed throughout the area, they may be able to access the system and disable exalt communications using the recovered data's encryption keys. I would like to disable your communications one day, Bradford, si, but I always forget to load that no, one that just shuts you the hell up. Oh okay, yeah, so we are pretty much set up. If we stayed uh, pretty much at the edge of the map, then we will not have to worry about the uh, exalt actually doing anything to us. We will not actually even have to enter the encoder area. That would be the safest way to do. That would be the safest thing to do, uh, just to get over here and tank them. Just got hot in here. Yeah. It doesn't matter because we can disable Man, them. We and have an uh, unit attempting shut to up! If we don't prevent them from gaining access, they're going to find the transmitter's coordinates. Yeah, I, uh, that I, uh, some of the voiceovers in the XCOM 1 are released to get starting to get on my nerve recently. Simply because they just never fucking end. Okay. Like, you can't to say something one on one mission and then shut up about it. You have to repeat it to me on every single mission because yeah, I forgot since the last time we were doing that kind of a mission. Moving. Because I have the attention span of a fucking hamster. That's why I'm playing strategy games, don't you know? But yeah, let's try to break at least some of the enemy cover. Catch. As it is, we are going to have to use cut, cut incognito to block them, most likely. I don't believe we will be able to get the uh, through the area without uh, using the tower this turn. This is simply not going to happen. Yeah, I simply don't believe in... Uh, I don't believe in miracles. So this isn't happening. Let's activate additional pods. Oh, that's great! That's just lovely. Why didn't we destroy the exact base yet? Please crit and kill him because we can't afford a missed shot. How do you know? Fuck me. I didn't disable the Overwatch yet. Lucky me. The enemy communications yeah, we have the enemies we'll activated uh, the on the right, so I'm going to just stick with that. Set them up, knock them down. I'm rolling. 
we gotta do this, but uh, it has a side effect, that, like this thing. Yeah, we can definitely afford missing the shots right now. This is lovely. See, and that shot could be devoted somewhere else when it is actually more needed. But no, we just have to miss. So, yeah. If they get a grenade at my ass, then it's your bloody fault. For missing the shot. I'm just kidding. But still, we, have to, we can't really afford to miss shots on this one. Simply because we have more enemies than there are There you go, see, that's how it is. Okay, let's use the tower next turn. For now, I'm just going to hunker down. This is definitely not cool, but at least I hope we aren't going to get naded. If we can destroy that uh, round of cover in, in the back, uh, we should be completely glorious. We have to kill the sector commander this turn. No, no. Oh, why are you doing this? Okay, I'm sold. Right now, all of the salt is spilling. Right, I had to. Can it done? Watch the sides. I'm not going to wash anything. Okay, let's blow up as much of the cover as we possibly can. Maybe even blow up the car, that would be great. But no. Because you know that would actually be beneficial to us. Okay. Now what do we do? No, I don't give a fuck. Roger, tracking. Ah! Oh! Ho, ho. Ooh, we, I guess. Yeah, I guess we are going to rapid fire the outsider. He's. Uh... <laughs> oh no! What the shit? <laughs> Fuck off! No, seriously, fuck off. Oh yeah, at least now we don't have ammo. That should throw him off. It will take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. Even more enemies. I don't care. We are still fine. We only miss every second shot and we have thousands of thousands upon thousands of enemies to kill. So that makes perfect fucking sense that we miss every shot right now. It's just the way it is. But yeah, as long as they are not glitching out and tossing grenades, we should be fine. We have two more towers, we can get to the next one next turn. 
Then run and gun to the other. The mechdoid is gonna be problematic, but we can deal with it. <laughs> That's just fucking awesome. And now my gunners will be able to take care of the mechtoids, I hope. On the move. But you have no ammo. We've got a wave of new signatures closing on strike one, Commander. Multiple hostiles inbound. Okay, so now gunners are taking care of the mechtoid. My own mech is taking care of the sector commander, I hope. Snipers are shooting something. How about this guy? Nailed him. Okay. So that's the thing, we have to shoot the, the guy that is close. As we can. But he didn't even creep low. And we have to kill the sector commander. And we did. We can disable the tower this turn and we are going to, obviously. We have to use the gunners to deal with the. All oh, right. Does that mean that you lost at your turn, Sugar Run? Yes, you did. Let's just see. But okay, I can play with that. Let's uh, try and get rid of the Mechtoid now. It's the most dangerous of opponents. That didn't do shit. I think. The Sarah is going to have to use a med kit that is putting us dangerously close to being grenaded, but uh, we absolutely need that med kit. Out. It's a good thing that the mind control, uh, mind control close combat specialist uh, has hit, uh, well, our tank number two. So that at least worked out well. Down. Could use some ammo over here. That's fine. And on a final note, Got it covered. let's have Midmara screw this guy a little bit. Don't miss. Oh, why do you have to miss? You simply don't have time for that. Why don't you understand it? Enemy communications are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. And now the only problem is to keep. Uh, Clayton from being grenaded because you know the exact glitch and throw grenade when they are not supposed to. We have dealt quite a lot of damage by uh, exploding by the means of exploding a car. So if the early, if the exalt doesn't uh, glitch and toss a grenade, we will be fine. I have inst uh, installed a fix that prevents them from theoretically doing that, but it doesn't really work all the time, so we never know. I'm just telling you right off the bat that if they throw a grenade, I'm going to just flip the fuck out and throw my computer out the window.
We still have one tower to so that we can disable and uh, I would of course rather not to do that. But I am fully prepared to if I need to. Okay, so right now our situation is uh, perfectly clear really. We have to use the flamethrower to hook up as many exalt goons as we possibly can. And if they all panic, that would just be swell. The situation is very much under control for us, not for them. Then kill this guy for me. Oh well, at least you hit him. Now uh, our gunners are going to have to chase the mech a little bit. Aye, aye, Commander. Because it got to go. It is uh, like super improbable that we will miss that shot, but in just in case we rapid fire. And now the uh, exalt have lost their firepower, at least uh, a lot of it. Just a lot of it, but not all, of course. Vamos. Unfortunately, they are not disabled uh, as a group, so we are going to have to use the tower. We disrupted the enemy communications network. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. And just be happy. Hey, hey, hey. See how happy I am. But yeah, there is little to no choice in what we do, so let's just do what we do best. And now the battlefield is theoretically ours. It is in fact ours-ish. In a way that they can still glitch out and toss nades on us in our faces, but uh, I would rather them not do that. Down. All in all, uh, if they don't, then we will have the situation under control by next turn. Uh, they will probably be reinforcements and stuff, but we can deal with this. That's a nice one. X-ray on the move. They're flanking us. Cover the flanks. Me tienen flanqueada. As long as they don't throw grenades. It looks like Exalt has additional yeah. reinforcements coming in, Commander. That's completely fine. At least I believe so. Good to go. Okay, now we got uh, no choice but to 
focus fire on the rooftop guy. You must die. Okay. Actually, no. I think this goes without saying. Now the question is, do we want to use another flamethrower or do we want to reload? Because once we reload, we are going to, of course, be much more effective. However, we must also control the grounds. So I have to think about it a wee bit. Just a second. I will do it. Uh, I will do it as I am killing this guy. Let's fight this guy. We have those three fellas that we will not be able to control. Uh, but, 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 we can try. Flank those shysters. Maybe we can do uh, at least some panics. We will reload next turn, of course. Okay, we have two panics. That's good enough. It there really isn't, but what choice do we have? one are you? You are this one. Okay, now Kitten Incognito is uh, going to do a nice thing for us, which is uh, pistol rapid fire. That should eliminate this guy, maybe. There we go. Be beautiful. Now let's protect Clayton because we don't really uh, need uh, him right now. And thus Sugar Run would get over here. Kill those two guys and then try to this fella. But I need to see something. It's super important. Oh, that's so lovely. Okay, so we are in a pretty shitty position to be honest, but we uh, can still make it uh, work somehow. Let's try to hide behind that truck maybe. And now we can reload and get close combat specialist on the guy. Tessara can't really save herself. So I'm sorry, but you are going to be sacrificial lamb. If you're lucky, you are going to only get crippled and change into a mech. Haha! <laughs> Holy shit! I did not see that coming. Okay, this guy is more dangerous. So let's not hit him! Fucking hell! Try again. Okay, I have to somehow save my poor assaults that uh, are in a very bad situation. They got themselves in a little well, bit of a pickle, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. 
I need to hide and reload, but uh, and hide and heal. But the problem is that, uh, well, half cover is no cover, and we don't have any good cover. So we're just gonna have to make do. Okay, Nidmare has a pistol, so I can hit and run and maybe kill one of them. Namely this guy, please die. Thanks. We can reload with our next shot. Sugar run may have little trouble surviving this, but we have to use the medkit if we are to have any hope of living. And yeah, we are theoretically flanked by a disabled guy and a guy that's gonna have to run away. That's like our only hope. Close combat specialist! Okay, that's right, bring him hell. One more one more point and we wouldn't have to worry at all. Let's hope he doesn't have snapshot. Oh, he does have snapshot. No! Are you kidding me? Can you believe that? I don't know if that's just stupid or it's just retarded that this is happening. I have the worst luck in this campaign, don't like I? This is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Tell that to my people that died on this senseless and pointless mission for no reason. Yeah, but it is still a pretty easy Ooh, victory. There is nothing that I can do about uh, the, it. Uh, I would have to really try hard to lose this mission. I'm just pissed over the casualties for no reason. Like, did you see that shot? On one hit point with all the red fog, after moving with snapshot negative modifiers. He just put it in there. Anyway, uh, my clock is telling me that it is time for me to leave. So I'm going to be pass. It is it has been 45 minutes. So I am passing this one uh, out for pounds so that he can finish clearing up the situation. There is basically not not much danger in here anymore. Just gotta clean it up, fix it up. We have all the easy flanks and uh, everything. But damn it! God damn it! I'm so pissed on those casualties. Fucking hell! It's annoying. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If so, let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and so on and so forth. And I will be seeing you again in the next episode. For now, I've been Falek. See you later.